in this section, we're going to be discussing hierarchical address allocation. This is basically how IP addresses are allocated. The entire IPv4, IPv6 address space is managed globally by IANA, which stands for Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, and by five regional internet registries. The five regional internet registries are namely AFRINIC, which is responsible for the Africa region, EPNIC, which is responsible for Asia Pacific region, ARIN, which is responsible for the United States, Canada, and many Caribbean and North Atlantic islands, LACNIC, which is responsible for Latin America and the Caribbean, and RIPE NCC, which is responsible for Europe, the Middle East, and parts of Central Asia. IANA allocates address space to each regional internet registry. The regional internet registry, in turn, are responsible for assignment in their designated territories, local internet registries, such as internet service providers. These service providers then allocate address space to the end users. The end users can also request address space directly from the regional internet registry if needed to ensure that they are service provider independent. How are IPv4 addresses distributed? IPv4 addresses are distributed by regional internet registries according to demonstrated need. All the regional internet registries have almost run out of IPv4 addresses, hence they have put into place run out policies. An example of this is a one of assignment from a limited pool. A typical campus will have a small public IP address block which it would use for its public servers and NAT pools. This can be anything from a slash 28 to a slash 21, depending on the regional internet registry's region or its upstream provider. A campus will also have private IP address blocks that it would use for its internal end users and for network management. How are IPv6 addresses allocated? IPv6 addresses are allocated exactly the same way as IPv4 addresses. The difference is we have unlimited amounts of IPv6 address space and such we don't have any run out policies. Network operators receive a minimum of slash 32. This includes brands and university campuses. End sites receive a slash 48. The smallest subnet size allocated is a slash 64. A typical campus will have a slash 48 divided out amongst its buildings. A typical multi campus or multi faculty institution would have a slash 32 divided out amongst its campuses. This is basically allocating a slash 48 per campus.